Microsoft, you are the biggest waste space in the gaming scene right now. The biggest joke in gaming history. Revealing a console that talks more about its TV features than its games. An embarrassment. You've alienated your core demographics, your core audience, for a few extra casual gamers. You're going to lose millions of hardcore gamers that kept you afloat, you ignorant pricks. So it comes as no surprise when I say that Xbox One's GPU is underperforming when compared to the PlayStation 4's. Maybe there was a reason why they talked about TV gimmicks and not about its own tech. I just want some of you Microsoft fanboys to realise they've given you the middle finger for your next generation of choice. If you're not looking towards the PlayStation 4 or even the Wii U, something is wrong because at least they offer unique experiences with their first party titles. You can't say that about Microsoft, or well, not yet at least. If their 15 exclusives do prove to be good, people will undoubtedly reevaluate. but until then, give them the middle finger. Stop letting them shit on you. They want you to bend over. They want you to stop fucking reselling your games. They want to constrict you. They want you to do what they want you to do. It should be the other way round. You give them your money, they need you. But some of you are ignorant and stupid. You may have pre-ordered it and just say, well, I've done it now, I'm not going to un-pre-order it. Well, fucking get your ass round the shop and do it! Now, if you're still tempted by the Xbox One, I want to applaud you and give you a big round of applause for making it this far into the video. But I do want to sour your grapes a little bit more, run you into the ground like a piece of shit. The Xbox One's tech is inferior to the PlayStation 4's, let alone a PC, it would crumble you like a bug. But here's the funny thing, Xbox is known for the better multiplats, that's not going to happen anymore. Say goodbye to that. Let me break this down for you. Microsoft's GPU has 12 compute units that totals up to 768 shaders. Sony has 18 compute units that totals up to 1,152. You get the picture. The GPU in the PlayStation 4 has roughly 50% more horsepower than Microsoft's toy. In terms of compute performance, the PlayStation 4 is nearly 33% faster with 1.84 teraflops compared to 1.23 teraflops in the Xbox One. It's done! So what's this mean in simple terms? Well, every third party game will lead to a lower quality version on the Xbox One because the PlayStation 4's hardware doesn't need to be optimised. It's there to be used. It's easier to handle. So thankfully, you're not going to get crappy ports anymore on the PlayStation. There's no real effort on the developer's part to tap into this extra juice. It's just waiting there to be used. So expect the PS4 to give you a much better frame rate, a more stable gaming experience, and a lead over the shitbox. I'm Jason Moore. Thank you for watching a beast of a video.